Started facing at a photo they've taken. Space tree flying through the skies and battles happen everywhere. I don't need any hero to save me. I don't know why the kids always crying. I've been thinking about how the captain's probably left in a wasted planet. I thought I had it all together, but I'm waking up sad. You don't need to show your faded love anymore to them. Right, this is my first vlog and also day one since um, I've not left since the lockdown. Um, it's my first day out and uh, I'm just planning to see how things has eased down a bit. Um, since um, there's a rumor that the lockdown might be lifted and I'm hoping to see that uh, people are still giving um, care and uh, they are also keeping their social distance um, so I'm just gonna go around and see and also obviously go to the shop and buy things um, as I need I'm hoping that I won't um, see any queues and things like that um, I'm wearing my gloves and everything um, so my mask is in the car and um, so I'm gonna be keeping my distance myself as I go along so, let's see so for a peace of mind I'm just gonna go for a wash um, take this car for a spin wash it in and out um, give it a bit of a clean and hopefully I'll show you an overview of the car itself how it looks after it had a quite clean um, as you can see from inside I don't know how dark it is um, it's very clean there is no dust around it it's been sitting here for about 25 days I think or maybe more and it hasn't collected any dust or anything um, the car inside is clean um, I've always maintained it um, at the most highest standard as possible um, I'll be wearing my mask when I'm out uh, I'm wearing my gloves, still wearing inside the car. Um, when I go to the shop, for example, like let's say um, in the mall uh, in Asda, so what I do is uh, use the, still the same gloves, but as soon as I'm done with my groceries, put them in the boot, get rid of the gloves, put a fresh pair of gloves again. So I'm just gonna show you now, I'm gonna put my uh, mask on and also drive while I'm vlogging. I'll see if uh, that's possible. Um, so let me mount this somewhere that looks is more reasonable without making big fuss of myself. So what can I do? Pause the video. Right. So I'm using a um, Joby Gorilla tripod right now. And I'm seeing if uh, if I can put it around somewhere. At the moment, I've got it on the seat. So let's see how this grip works. All right, buckle up. Let's go for a spin. After I've had a quick wash, I'm going to show you how this car also operates. It's very unique. It's first model that BMW has manufactured. Um, it's a plug-in hybrid. So I'm going to show you and also talk you through what other options it has. So you can actually set it up 
the way you like it in terms of uh, if you want to use hybrid for example where it selects itself automatically um, in terms of using the battery or the gasoline engine or you could have it as a uh, pure electric where it gives you good 18 miles on paper it says it gives you about 22 miles but um, I've tested it out and it gave me about 18 miles max using the music um, lights wipers all sort of uh, options so other than that I think this BMW 330e is a really good car um, I would love to use or buy the latest model um, but obviously for now this provides all my needs um, I don't necessarily buy things because I want it I buy things if I need it um, so I'm a family man um, this car is sufficient in terms of um, space it's also um, very ergonomic it has a uh, sports twist to it and I've also uh, modified a bit of it so I've put like a M performance bumper to make it look more performance um, what else it's a 2 litre engine um, I highly go to the petrol station that often um, because I don't use this car on daily basis I only use it on the weekend so what I normally do on the weekend is if I'm visiting families going for a shop um, going out for a dinner um, all of those um, above but other than that I don't go like drive to work and things like that so it should be uh, good so like, when I first purchased this car I am not exaggerating this for a month I've not topped up the field at all that's because where I used to live there was a uh, power station where I used to charge all the time just leave the car there while I'm at the park playing with the kids kicking the football like kicking the ball around so I used to just go around doing nothing literally the car is there parked free parking on top of that I'm just putting some juice on yeah um, to say like if you were wondering how long it takes to charge that depends on um, on the charging station itself so if the charging station provides a rapid charge you could charge this car literally under two hours but if you're charging like the standard charge station it will take minimum three hours and if you're charging from home that's just going to take you four hours or more so again in some days i used to charge them at home just put throw an extension leader out the window and charge it all all night for example i don't mind you know um the car's just there sitting there save fuel so i've calculated for about three months how much fuel i was saving i think a month I was saving at least good 40 pound yeah I've drove to Birmingham it costed me less than 20 pound to get to Birmingham and then another 20 pound to get back and this is a 2 litre engine so it's doing its thing and now the future is here where most of the cars are like becoming more hybrid or electric like the Tesla um, so Tesla is like the brand that's leading in the industry at the moment um, yeah so I think it's worth thinking of this car if you're looking to purchase um, but I wouldn't suggest you to again to buy the 2016 because 2016 was the first ever model that was produced by BMW as a plug-in hybrid so I wouldn't suggest you to buy the 2016 model because it has a lot of electric problems like now now and then I get some messages on the cluster saying that um, I've got an issue or a message just comes out for no reason and then if you look up on the computer there's nothing like literally the codes are all clear so if you are looking to buy I will suggest you to go 17 18 19 even 2020 why not get the latest if you can if you're getting it on a lease go ahead if you get if you're buying it one-off go ahead 
one thing to mention that BMW, the kick that you get from a rear wheel drive, the feelings that you get, you can't explain that. Literally, no one can explain that. Either you hate it or you love it. And I'm one of those, I love this BMW. She's, I call it she by the way, she's beautiful. Right, BMW in white, Alp in white. And the interior, it goes really nice with it. It's got a uh, red, um, line all around to just to show that it's a uh, M supports yeah so one thing I'm thinking of going is getting um, maybe a um, alloy wheels that goes aligning with um, with this car but if I get like 19 inch alloy wheels then that means I'll be losing comfort and for me comfort is more important than economic so I'm wondering should I go for 19 inch alloy wheels or keep my current 15 inch alloy wheels and that's it what is your thinking what do you think would you spec it higher and get 19 inch alloy wheels to make it look that extra oomph and give it like that manhood or you're just gonna keep the the current one, the standard alloy wheels. Yeah, tell me what you think. Give me some messages in the comment. Right. almost by the mall now I'm gonna park it put my mask on um, I'm a little bit shy when filming around people so I'm not gonna vlog around people but I might do just outside the car park just to show you how busy the car park is um, again today is Saturday it is around 12 p.m. so it might be actually busy we don't know that so we'll see how busy it is, um, but I'm not going to vlog as soon as I'm inside the mall, just by the car park. Here we go, we are almost there and it looks, boy, it looks busy. So obviously people are enjoying themselves, it's nice weather, um, people are shopping, it's been a while since I've been here. I've done my shopping like three months ago. I bought everything that I need. And uh, I'm one of those, I'm not gonna lie, hands up. I'm one of those people who panicked a little where they bought everything that they could. I even bought, I even bought baked beans. I don't hardly eat baked beans. I even bought that just in case I run out of my eggs. So I thought baked beans might be one of those um, just go for it, yeah, so, right, let's park here and see what we can do. making sure that I am not out because my car is a little bit long in the lateral side I can also see if I bring the camera a bit closer from here it tells me how far I'm off from the line so take you out so let me turn the engine off actually before I do that let's put the mask on that's more important uh, yeah. let me take these headphones off my gloves are clean so I'm not bothered about 
touching my mask and things like that. Because all I did was came in in the car. Right. I don't know if you can hear me, but this mask is definitely one of the top masks. Um, but again, I can't breathe really well. It looks nice. It's got like a stretchy adjustable hair clip where you can adjust it to your tight, to your needs. Um, it's good, but I don't know how good it is because the hole's hardly out. Right, so let me take you out, turn off the engine, get the car, show you the car park and continue with my shopping and then I'll come back and give you a bit of an update on how busy it is inside and how people are acting around each other in this pandemic and certain period of the life that we're in. Right, so let me take you out. So, this is the car park. It looks a little bit busy. You see everywhere is parked. Yeah, that's about it. Peace out. Right, I'm back from uh, shopping and just got in, in my car. Oh, wow. It is hot in here. Take this off. Oh my God, I've been suffocating myself. Put the aircon on. Put my Joby Gorilla. Back on. I'll tell you that it's been an interesting shopping today for sure. Right, let's go for a spin. I'll see if uh, the car wash is open. Um, the queue to get into Asda, that's the place where we buy our groceries, was not what I expected. To get in, there was a huge queue, but the queue was flowing. That's the good thing. The queue was not one of those where you move like one mile per hour it was flowing okay but once you get in there there's a lot of people around no one's following the idea of social distancing everyone was all about um, again at the till it was not bad the till was all right there was few people in front of me, and that's about it. Other than that, I think, on a regular basis, you shouldn't be coming to shop. I think you should come here as less as possible, do what you need to do, get your stuff, and then out, bada bim, bada boom. Just literally in and out. You shouldn't be, uh, wasting your time around where there's so much crowd like this um, I didn't feel like I was comfortable around the people um, I hope none of the people that I met carried any sort of a uh, COVID-19 right on my way back to home I'm gonna drop this shopping stuff and then go for a wash.
and that's when I'm going to introduce at the end of this video, if you stick around, that's when you get the BMW 330e M Sport. So this car has a, a uh, an option of e-drive where you can manually select what you like so you can actually have a option where you could use as save battery where you are just using the gasoline engine and you're saving the battery for a later period for example if you go central London in congestion charge areas where you can uh, literally not moving the vehicle that often you could use the electric vehicle in the low emission areas um, it also had the, the opportunity to have as auto e-drive where it selects itself as a uh, e-drive where it decides when it needs the engine to kick in or the electric um, at the moment I've got 67% battery which can take me up to It'll tell me here how much it can take me, how many miles. Hundred and twenty. So that's with combination of half, half a tank. It will take me up to one hundred and twenty-three miles. But bear in mind, this car does not store that much fuel. Um, it's manufactured that way, so you are not literally topping up the fill all the time. So the tank is quite small. I think about 45 pound, that will fill the entire tank, 45 pound. On a normal BMW 3 Series, like 330i, you need to fill about 75 pound to fill the entire tank. This one, 45 pound, it will be sufficient to fill the entire tank. So, it's not bad. And the third option, which is fully max e drive. I don't know if you can see it because of the light. I feel like, yeah, there, max e drive. This car is also equipped with a navigator. It also comes with uh, parking, auto parking, so it parks itself. It comes with the uh, Triptronic gear selector here. And you can also change it to manual if you like. Alright, so this is the interior basically. The seat, again, it's a really high standard seat, I'll, I'll say. It has that sport feel. And it has a button where you could have this seat inflated to give you like a hug. So... And just take you from top to bottom.
Break it so hard. Break it so hard. <laughs> 